Hey guys, what's going on? Zebs here, also known as Hayden, bringing you another tutorial. And this tutorial, this week won't be a remake tutorial. This will be a style tutorial, which you guys really enjoy a lot. Sorry if you hear that, my fridge just started. But anyway, uh, today is the Vine style tutorial. Now this has been highly requested, like probably my most requested tutorial ever. And now, if you don't know what the Vine style is, I'm gonna show you a couple banners of what it looks like. So there is this one. I'll show you this one. This is my sore uh, vine style banner. Uh, today, well not today, but today I'll be showing you how to do the render part and then the next week's tutorial will be the second part of basically how to do these, how to make these like lightning effects, particles, color correction, all that stuff. Um, so look forward to that. So let's get started with the render. So I have my sore AI here. And I'm just going to make it 3D by getting two extrudes because there's two paths. And I'm just going to drag it into the extrude. As usual, if you if you have some experience, you know how to do that. Um, and then what we're going to do next is this movement. We're going to set this to 45 caps. Go fill it cap and fill it cap. Set them both to two. And then what we're going to do next is. Uh, I'm just gonna render this material out, decide which uh, grunge material I wanna use. Cause there's two different ones. Because <clears throat> I, uh, I put the style up on my store if you wanted to go and download it. Which is, uh, it includes color correction um, and the materials plus personal help from me. Uh, so I'm just going to kinda make this smaller. Actually I might have to make it bigger, my bad. Yeah, I'm gonna make it bigger. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm resizing the material to fit the uh, um, the the render to make it look nicer. So a little higher. There we go. That looks good. So we're gonna use this material, or we c and then I'm gonna show you the other material that I've used for this style as well, which is this one. Just gonna, this one takes a little bit longer to render, not too bad though. Or this one. I think I'm gonna do this one. Yeah, this one looks nicer. So, once you've decided on a material, or if you wanna use these materials, if you purchase my pack on the store, but uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna duplicate these and then we're gonna go get some atom arrays and we're just gonna drag the extrudes into the atom arrays which is going to make these outline looking things now obviously it doesn't look very good now but we're gonna set it each to one and one and what that'll do is it will make a cool looking outline thing which is another thing for future references that you can make outlines with but we're gonna check single elements and what this does is it makes like kind of go all over you know as you can see and we're gonna make this the vine material and we're just gonna set it to cubic and then seamless to make it HD and as you can see that'll make a nice looking thing now it's really intense on your computer having some moment I don't know why but I'm gonna check it at the end when I'm done with all the next parts so what we're gonna do next is we're going to get landscape and we're going to go spherical, which object, and then at the very bottom, spherical. And what that'll do is it'll make this landscape a sphere, obviously. And we're just going to size it down a little bit so it fits the render. And we want to have enough where we could fit a good amount of these balls. So I'm just going to size it down a bit. And also, we want to have some kind of overlap in the logo to make it look like the logo is inside of it and not like placed on top of it. So I'm just gonna bring this back a little, have a little bit shine, and then another one behind here. Just kinda like personal opinion kind of thing. Where you wanna have stuff. Bring this one here, duplicate it, this one here, rotate it, and then this one I might have a little bit forward. Not too much, and then we're gonna have one down below. And another one to kind of 
even it out. Boom. And then we're just gonna make all of these the vine material or the vine, yeah. So cubic, seamless. You always wanna do that with materials to make it HD. Now, if I was to render this, it'll look like it's blended in. Now, this is gonna take a while depending on your computer. Um, also, if you if you want to know how to make a vine material kind of like this one, sort of, I made a tutorial on it a couple weeks ago if you want to go check that out. Um, so, yes. Oh, I'm liking the way this looks. So, the next thing what we're going to do is um, we're going to probably, alright. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to select everything and then we're just going to line this axis up so it's good and we're just going to drag it down a little bit such as this and what this will do is actually I'm going to drag the sword thing up a little bit same as the atom rays because they're all kind of connected so because I don't want it that deep in just something like that and then now what we're going to do is this plugin you're going to use get use reaper now most people use reaper x or have it if you've watched any of other tutorials that like this render thing I usually have you require reaper x and you Maomi. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a free hand here and we're just going to kind of drag like vine looking things. So like this, maybe right here, one right here, one right here, one right here. And that should be enough because you don't want to overkill it but you don't want to underkill it. <laughs> That's a, a, a word. So I'm just going to do this. Drag all the splines into the Reaper X, which will make a nasty looking rope thing, which is another way you can make ropes, is with Reaper X, because that's I think that's what it's meant for, is to make ropes. I'm not sure though. And we're just gonna go into general, put the strands to one, and we're gonna change the co the coils to something like about four maybe. And then we're going to and we don't want too many like curves, something like this. We want it pretty thick, not too thick though, like something like this, so nine. And as you can see, they're all kind of lined up next to each other, so perfectly. So I'm just going to grab individual ones and uh, just kind of reshape it into the render. So something like this, that looks good. The second one, reshape. Third one. Oops. Ow. And as you can see, the axis down here, and which is not with the Reaper X. Now, if you want to know how to fix that of what I just did, click this L thing, and then you can move the axis without it moving the object, which is a good way of getting it centered, so you don't like mess things up, as you saw. It didn't do like a full like rotation, it was doing a rotation of the axis. And as you can see now, when I rotate it, it rotates around the axis, which makes it easier to rotate. Which is kind of hard to explain, but you'll understand like when you do it. <laughs> Rove the axis up, just kind of like so. Trial and error. I'm just going to move it back a little bit, something like this. Have it kind of come up a little bit. That will do. And now we'll get this. Whoops. That should be enough where it looks like vines. Uh, whoops. So cubic seamless, for pretty much any HD materials you want to have cubic seamless. So actually I don't like how many vines I have, I might get rid of some, that'll do actually, I like that. And the next thing what we're going to do is, hold on, let me look at the banner and make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, 
Um, nope. All right. So that will pretty much be it. So now you just want to. Now you can turn on the single elements, and then boom, you have your. Actually, I'm gonna render this out really quick to make sure it's the right thickness. These things. But I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, I think what makes the style really come together is the color correction and the uh, the material. Yeah, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. Maybe make it 1.5, which will. Whoops. Cinema is weird sometimes. Like when you try and make a setting, it doesn't always apply it. So 1.5 should be enough. I'm just gonna check it now. But as I was saying, it's really a simple style, but it really looks good. Um, so I like that. But that will be it for today, guys. Um, so yes, the next part or next week's tutorial will be the second part on how to make this banner come to life and things like that. Today was the render part, obviously. And if you're still watching, what's your favorite number down below? Put your favorite number down in the comment section. I'm curious. So, I'm Zebs, and I'm out. Peace.